What's up everybody, Gamerboy for Life here, and today we're continuing on our 1.20.2 hack client series. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of bug fixing, and we're going to add a couple modules. Uh, by a couple, I only mean like we're going to be adding three mods today. Um, it's mostly just going to be bug fixes and a little bit of tweaks. So, uh, bef real quick, before we even jump into this, I do want to apologize. Uh, I originally plan on uploading every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Um, just due to how like my weeks uh, end up falling, I end up getting busy on the weekend, which means I fall behind. Like this weekend, I got busy. I was supposed to have a video out today, and I'm just now recording it. Uh, and it's already fa almost 5.30 p.m. So... I'm probably going to be switching my upload schedule to Tuesday and Thursdays, uh, just for the sake of this, um, and just to make it easier on us. Um, anyways, I'm going to just jump straight into this video. Uh, real quick, actually, sorry. Uh, in the next video, I do plan on making a couple uh, more advanced modules. Um, like, we're going to be making a really cool x-ray mod. Um, I'm also going to be making a chest stealer in the next video. And in the next video, we're going to try to fix the issues with Kill Aurora and Triggerbot. Uh, someone in my Discord server actually called me out for it. I completely forgot in the new versions of Minecraft, um, you can't just spam click to hit. Um, that just shows, like, I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've done this. Because uh, the new Minecraft versions have a newer, uh, like, attack system. So we are going to be completely reworking Kill Aurora and Triggerbot. Um, anyways, that's not going to be in this video. Uh, so today, we're going to be uh, patching... Sorry, we're going to be fixing two bugs to start with. The first bug is going to be inside a key manager. Um, on this line where it says, if key code is greater than zero, we're going to add something. We're going to do... Uh, let me just space it out real quick. So we'll do mc.screen uh, equals null. And then we'll do and and. So the reason why we're adding that, I noticed uh, with the way our keybinds work, um, it's not actually, well, you would be like typing in the in-game chat, and let's say like Kill Aurora was set to the letter R, it would be toggling that while you're typing. So that's why we want MC screen to equal null, um, and that just fixes that issue. So uh, that's issue one done. Issue two is going to be inside of our uh, click GUI. So we're going to go open up our GUI category class. Scroll down to the uh, render method. And at the very bottom where we rendered the options, right now mine's empty because I was testing this to making sure I can get everything working here. Uh, so we're just going to change it up a little. So all the code at the bottom of this method, go ahead and just delete it. We're going to do if module equals selected module and show options. We will say uh, we're going to create an int for option x, set that equal to x plus module text width plus 20. We're going to create an int uh, option y, set that equal to module y. We're going to be changing that, just set it there for now. Now we'll do keybind option as keybind option. This will be module.get keybind option. We'll say if key bind option come on uh, option uh, as long as this does not equal null we will say key bind option dot render graphics option x um sorry yeah instead of offset x we need to replace that with option x and for module y it's going to be option y plus 18. all right so now once you do that uh, let's take a look here. Sorry, not plus 18. It's going to add five. We're going to go down one bracket and we'll do module dot render options, graphics, option X, and then option Y plus 18. That's where I got that mixed up at. We'll go down a couple. We'll do module Y plus equals uh, module dot get options dot size we're going to multiply that by 15 and then add 18 onto it all right so now we'll just go down this bracket and do module y plus equals 15. all right so i will show you guys what this changes in the future uh near the end of the video but for now we need to scroll down 
uh, to the mouse clicked function. Um, about right here, any code past this point you can delete up to here because we're going to be completely redoing this section. So to start, we'll do keybind option as keybind option, set that equal to module.get keybind option. We'll say if keybind option does not equal null and keybind option dot mouse clicked. We'll say, well, mouse X, mouse Y, and button. Those can all stay the same with the prefill. That will return is true. Then we can go down one and we'll do if module equals equals selected module and and show options. We will say if module dot mouse clicked, we'll do mouse X, mouse Y, button. And this will also return as true. We're going to go down one bracket and do module y uh, equals, sorry, I think it's supposed to be plus equals module dot get uh, options dot size. We'll multiply that by 15 and add eight. Actually, let, let me see real quick. So equals plus, is that what I did? Yeah, I, I keep messing that up. So up here, I this seems to be uh, plus equals. There we go. So that way they're matching and then we'll go down one more and do module y plus equals 15. so the reason we did this uh before what was happening is when you would right click a module inside the click gui to show uh like the options it would be overlapping with the other modules so this in theory when you right click a module to expand the options it's going to move the rest of the modules down quite a bit that way it just makes up some room for us um but yeah that's gonna be the second bug fix now we can actually go ahead and start making a couple mods we're gonna add a couple render mods where we're rendering something to the screen and we actually need to fix this because i messed up in the start of this series so if we go into module manager i messed up our on render method but this render method's already linked into something else so we're not going to be changing it instead what we're going to do is just add a new one. But before we can do that, we actually have to go into module. Uh, I'll just add it in like right here under setup options. We're going to create basically it's just going to be one line of code. We'll do public void on render GUI graphics as graphics. And then we can just close the brackets off there. And what this will do is allow us to actually render stuff to the screen. So now we need to go inside of module manager come down to here we'll do public static void on render gui graphics as graphics and we'll say for module module as a modules uh if module dot is toggled we'll do module dot on render so now when we do on render there's going to be two options that pop up you're going to want to do the one with the gui graphics and then here we'll just put in graphics so make sure uh, GUI graphics gets imported. Oh, there we go. So that got rid of the errors. Perfect. Now we actually have to link that into our Minecraft code. So we're going to press Control Shift R. We're going to type in GUI. Uh, press Control F to open up Find and just type in your client name. So we already had one of the on render methods in here, but we're going to be adding another. So we'll do grim.instance.modManager.onRender. Make sure you do the one with GUI graphics. This should auto uh, fill with the P underscore uh, 282108 underscore. If not up here, just copy this over into there and you'll be fine. All right. So that's all of the fixes. We're, uh, well, that's all the fixes for the video. So now we're just going to add a couple modules here just to make sure everything's working. Um, so we'll come over here, create a new class. Oh, I actually forgot to make the render package, so we could just add it right here. Uh, the first one's going to be Armor HUD. So this module is kind of cool. It will actually uh, like render uh, your current armor to the screen and show like what durability you're at. So this is definitely going to be like a PvP type mod, but at the same time, uh, it's render. So you know the drill, import module. Got to do all this dumb stuff first, get it out of the way. All right, so let's set the constructor up here. So it's going to be armor 
HUD description will be displays the player's armor status to screen or not to screen on screen I'll say uh, category dot render and then a zero for the keybind so let's come down to here we'll do at over ride we'll do public void on update sorry not on update I lied on render GUI graphics is graphics we'll say if this dot is toggled and and MC dot the player does not equal null um actually what we need to do is so i'm trying to figure out how to get a way to explain this i'm just blanking right now because uh sleep de sleep deprivation okay so basically when we open up the click gui we don't want this stuff to render to the screen so let's just add that in real quick so we'll say like if mc.screen is instance uh of click gui main It'll just return and not render it else we can do uh now we can actually make it so as long as the click ui is not showing we're going to create an int for x called five create an int for y equal to mc dot get window dot get gui scaled height and i'm just going to subtract 80 from this um it, again you could play with these numbers later on to actually move it around the screen but this is where i found where i like it so that's where i'm putting it we'll do item stack uh as armor slots set this equal to mc dot player dot get inventory dot armor dot to array and here we'll create a new item stack with zero in it okay so nope this is supposed to be inside of these parentheses. There we go. All right, we got to import the item stack class. Okay, control shift O just works for it. All right, so now we can say for int i equals armor slots dot length uh, minus one. We'll say i is greater than or equal zero and then i minus minus. There we go. Um, oops, I did not mean to add a close bracket there. All right. So now we can say item stack armor equals armor slots. Uh, here we'll just put I in for this one. We will say if exclamation point armor dot is empty. So as long as we actually have armor, we can render it to the screen. So we'll say graphics dot render item uh armor x and y okay so now if you just leave it like this it will work but um i'm not I'm, i actually want to add like the durability counter so we're going to create a couple integers or sorry a couple of ends here first one's going to be max durability this will be set to armor dot get uh max damage we'll create another one for the current durability so that you go to max durability minus armor dot get damage value so basically uh, max durability is the max durability of the item and then as you know as you take damage the durability goes down so we could just say like uh this is calculating how much damage has been done and we're subtracting it from the max durability simple math so now we can create a string for the durability it's, um durability text i'll say and we'll set this equal to the current ability plus uh yeah i'll just add like a slash and then plus max durability oops why are you airing out because it that's supposed to be an equal sign there we go so now we actually got to render this text so we'll say graphics dot draw string mc dot font we'll do sorry about that oh where was i all right so here we'll put durability text i is going to be x plus 20 here we'll do y plus 5 and then i'll just do 0x 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for the color code and to make sure they uh, stack on top of each other we we'll do y uh, plus equals 20. that should be good enough so that's the armor hud class done so we can back out add it into our module manager so under render add 
mod new armor HUD. Make sure you properly import the class. There we go. And let's take a look now. So that's done. Um, two more mods. One's going to be a render module. So we'll create a new class. This one's going to be called Potion Effects. I do plan on adding ESPs in the future. Uh, it's just this version of Minecraft, it is a little strange. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it. But I've been working on it. So let's just finish importing module here. I'm actually going to copy this so I can steal it for later. All right, so add constructor. Let's just fill this all out first. So potion effect. Description will be displays current potion effects. Got category dot render and zero for the keybind. Uh, let's add the unimplemented method that way. Oops. Come on, add unimplemented methods. That way we just get that out of the way. All right, so we're going to go to and do at override public void on render GUI graphics. That's graphics. We'll, again, we're going to do if mc.screen uh, is instance of click GUI main. We'll just return. So once again, it's not going to render if the GUI is open. All right, so we need to create uh, int for x and y again. So we'll start with x. Uh, we'll do mc.get window dot get gui scaled with uh, minus 100. So uh, the armor is going to render on the bottom left side of the screen. The potions will render on the bottom right. So we'll say int y equals mc.get window dot get gui scaled height uh, minus 30. All right, so now we actually have to get a list of all the active potion ingredients. So we're going to do a collection uh, mob effect instance as effects for short. It was mc.player.get active effects. Control shift out, import everything. So we say for mob effect instance as effect effects. Well, all right, so first we're gonna render potion name. So this will be string effect name equals effect dot get effect dot get display name dot get string. All right, and now we can do graphics dot draw string mc dot font. Uh, the null is gonna be the effect name. Here we'll do x plus 20. Uh, y plus 15 and we'll do 0x 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for the color code just a 0x with 8 f's is white by the way so it's just nice and simple all right so now we will render the potion uh duration here um we'll create a string for duration this will equal format duration effect Make it nice and simple. Uh, this doesn't exist yet, so we're gonna create it after we're done here. So we could just say graphics dot draw string, say mc dot font duration x plus twenty y plus fifteen zero x one two three four five six seven eight f's, and then we'll do y minus equals thirty. All right, so make sure no errors except for that one. That's fine. So we'll come down to here. Uh, we'll create a private string called format uh, duration. And here we'll put mob effect instance as effect. All right, so if I can still mob effect, there we go. And here we're going to create three ends. First one's going to be duration and ticks. Set that equal to effect dot get duration. Now we got to change that into seconds. So int seconds equals duration ticks divided by 20. Because there's 20 ticks, 20 Minecraft ticks in one real life second. Then we can do int minutes. Set that equal to seconds divided by 60. 
because as you know, there's 60 uh, seconds in a minute. Uh, we'll say seconds is percent equal to 60. That way it maxes out at 60. It won't say anything more than 60 seconds. Um, now we can return minutes plus, uh, I'll just do a parenthesis, or not a parenthesis, that's a colon. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Plus uh, seconds is greater than 10. Question, uh, we'll do zero, colon, empty, close, plus seconds. That should be the right format for this. All right, so that module's done now. We can go into module manager and add mod new uh, potion effects. All right, last module we're gonna add today. Um, it's not a render mod. It's actually a mod I made in my last video, but I accidentally uh, left it out of the video and uh, post-processing because I realized that I made a anti-AFK mod that was broken and I didn't, uh, that's the mod I meant to remove from the video and I messed up. Um, the mod we're actually supposed to do, supposed to have left in was auto walk. Um, this is the one I, I meant to remove. So let's just import module, so extends module. This is gonna be a nice and simple mod, by the way. So we'll go here, add our constructor, add the unimplemented methods as well. Um, I'm not gonna be using that. All right. So for the constructor, auto walk, uh, description makes the player automatically walk category dot movement and zero for the keybind. Um, I'm actually going to go below and make this easier on us. We'll add override uh, public void on update. If this dot is toggled and empty dot the player does not equal null, we will say set key pressed to MC dot options dot key up and true. All right, so now we have to create that method, which is nice and simple. So we'll do private void set e rest. Um, and here we'll do key mapping as key and create a Boolean called rest. We'll say key dot set down rest. And there we go. So that's auto walk done. So we can add that here. Um, that's gonna go here alphabetically. New auto walk. All right, so now we can launch Minecraft and test it out. Actually, we gotta import the auto walk class, my bad. There we go. All right, so all air is gone. Let's load up and give this a shot now. All right, so now that we're loaded into the game, let's just load into our world. Uh, while we do this, I'm gonna let you know today's video is gonna be a little shorter. Um, next video is gonna be really long. It's probably gonna end up being over an hour long. Uh, the X-ray mod itself is multiple classes of code that I'm doing because I'm making a really nice uh, X-ray mod. Um, anyways, let's give this a shot here. So uh, I did do some testing just to make sure it all works. That's why I'm in creative and you see me with potion effects. So let's just delete that for now. Let's also grab a couple pieces of armor. So start off with, let's just do auto walk. As you can see, I'm not pressing W, it's just walking forward now. All right, so uh, let me just make sure here. Yeah, so Killarora has options. That's why I tested it. If we right click, as you can see, it moves the following module down more. You can still toggle it if you need to. Um, you can accurately click the checkboxes as well, which is really nice. Um, now on to render. We'll start with armor HUD. So as you can see, nothing's happening, but if we actually equip some armor, as you can see, it shows uh, like our durability. And just to prove it, let me go into uh, survival here. I forgot you burn alive. Attack me. Yep, and as you can see, the durability on the left is going down now, which is exactly what we wanted. Come on. Hey. All right. So now uh, that might kill me. Yep, that did. All right, so now it's time to test out potions, right? So we'll do potion effect, just like so. Um, let's see. So now if we affect ourselves, 
Oh, okay, so that's one bug there, as you can see. Uh, the text is overlapping with each other, so we, we do need to fix that. Um, that is nice and easy. I actually already know exactly what that issue is. Um, so what we're going to do here, I know exactly what I did. So where we rendered the name, that's supposed to only be a 5, not 15. There we go. Now look at it. Now it's all looking good. Um, so that's it for bas basic modules for today's video. There is actually one feature I completely forgot to add. And that's going to be a way to quickly clear all of your keybinds. Um, instead of going through each one on the Click UI, we're just going to make a button where if you press it, it clears all the current uh, keybinds. It's a really easy, nice and simple module. Um, so we're going to create... Wait, let me make sure. Do I have a... I did create a category for miscellaneous. Okay. So we'll create a new class uh, dot miscellaneous to create the folder. And this class is going to be called clear keybinds. So this is going to kind of act like a module since uh, we do have to turn it on basically. So we'll import me dot gamer board for life dot gram dot module dot module. You know the drill. Uh, add constructor. Add unimplemented methods. Okay, so we'll set up the constructor very quickly. Name clear keybinds. Uh, the description will say clears all keybinds for modules except click except for uh, click GUI. Uh, we'll set the category to miscellaneous and then zero for the keybind. Uh, if you want this class to have an actual keybind, um, I'm gonna warn you, it's going to it will clear it out. Uh, if you do end up setting up a keybind out for this class, I will show you like how to undo that anyways moving on at override we're not going to do on update we're going to do public void on enable and it's just going to clear all keybinds we need to create that method though so we'll make a private uh void clear all keybinds we'll say for uh module module as module manager dot get all modules we'll say if exclamation point module dot one i can't spell apparently how do you spell module there we go module dot get uh name dot equals ignore case click gui so if the module equals that um it's just going to continue on as long Okay, we're saying, so as long as, uh, for any mod but click GUI, it's going to run the next code. Now, if you want this class to also be that, we can just and and exclamation module dot get name um, dot equals ignore case clear keybinds. That way, if you want to add a keybind to this class, you can. So I'll just add it in there just in case. Anyways, we'll do module dot set key code to zero. We'll go down a couple because we actually need to do key uh bind config uh we forgot to create this so we'll just come up here we're gonna create a private final key bind config as key bind config uh import your key bind configuration so we can come here and do dot uh save key binds and we'll do module manager dot get modules map. Then we'll do this dot set toggle to false. So even though it on updates, it's basically going to run the clear keybinds and then auto turn itself off. Uh, we actually need to go into the constructor. So we'll do keybind config equals new keybind config. There we go. So that's that done. So we go into modules here uh, and add it. So this is going to be a miscellaneous mod. Add new clear keybinds. All right. So import this class and let's launch and test it out real quick. Good way to test this module. We're just going to create keybinds for a bunch of different mods just for now. So like combat, I'm going to set this to be R. Uh, trigger bot, I'll set to Y. 
and yeah that'll be enough just to test so f is already set for flight so as you can see i have all these modules enabled that i'm doing through keybinds if i come here actually well i just clicked clear keybinds so now if we press f r and that as you can see none of them are working but we can still open this up uh and actually let's set a keybind for this uh, i'll do m to clear keybinds and if i click m as you can see it's still registering properly so let's just do that but if i click m yeah it won't let us disable it now because it's clearing the keybinds and the clear keybind module isn't getting cleared so that's always nice i'm actually gonna unset this so just press escape and that will uh, turn it off for individual mods anyways that's gonna be the end of this video uh if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like and subscribe i am really close to hitting 2000 subs i want to hit it uh pretty soon It'll make me feel really good inside. Make me feel special. Yay. Um, thank you guys all for watching the video. If you made it to the end, uh, comment pineapple. The first person I see comment pineapple is going to get pinned and hearted in the comments for this video. Um, like I, I already told you guys what I'm going to be doing in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned and stay, well, stay frosty. <laughs>